if y'all have been uh, subscribed to me for a really long time, then you know that it is time for my empties video, which is one of my absolute favorite videos. I don't know why, I just love to watch them and to make them, and it really makes me feel like I'm like productive and I've done stuff every single time, pretty much I think since I've started doing like monthly empties. For the most part, I always do it on the very first of the month because I love it. I just want to get it out there for y'all. But unfortunately, this past week, there was nothing major going on. Um, I just was kind of done. Like, you know how that is? Like, I'm in school. It's my last year of undergrad. And then hopefully I'll be going to vet school. But I was just like, I just needed a break. And so this weekend, I pretty much spent the whole weekend in my pajamas with no makeup on. So I didn't really feel like filming. I hope that's okay with y'all. But today, it is time for my empty slash products I fit pan on so let's just get into it um I have started this project I products I fit pan on just so you can see the kind of progress I've made I do still have the same three products if you're interested in seeing how much I use every month I have pictures up on my Instagram every month um well I think last month actually might have been the first time so maybe not every month but you can see last month and also I start the beginning of a lot of my empties like this so I'm gonna have a whole playlist linked down below so if y'all are interested in seeing that or just other empties because I feel like they're the kind of thing that's timeless then by all means go check that out so the first thing is a Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush eyeshadow unfortunately they do not sell these anymore but I think they're really great quality and when I first mentioned them I do find dupes I don't remember all the dupes that I had um, but that's in the past videos that will be linked down below so look at that I've hit um, you can see like eight squares really well I think last month it was only like four maybe six so yeah, I've used that. I don't use this color all the time because it's so dark. It's like a crease color or something, but it's also really shimmery. It is what is in my crease today. So there you go. I'm only using the two shadows. It's not this one. I, I started this video and then I didn't have enough room, so I had to restart. So there you go. It's beautiful. I really like it. It's just not something I draw towards all the time. And I have made a video about this, so I'll link it below as well. I don't believe in forcing yourself to use your makeup. Um, I mean, like, I enjoy watching those videos. Like, I'm going to use up these products before then. I, I really like those videos, but it's not something I would do. Just because um, I feel like then you don't really get your money's worth if you're forcing yourself to use it. That's just me. Um, and then the next one. <coughs> excuse me. It's also a Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. It's the same packaging, but unfortunately this one's very broken. So this is in the shade Flower Girl. This one's in Bronzinger. I don't think I mentioned that before, but it is. So this one is so close to being used up. It's totally flat now. It, it comes domed. Um, and it's, it is kind of hard to, to get product out now. But I'm not done yet. There it is. It's just a beautiful pinky white highlighter shade. It's what's in my inner corner, all over my lid, and my brow bone. Again, these are the only two shades that I did use today on my eyelids. So I really like this. I use it almost every day as my inner corner. It's just, it, it's lasting, which is not a bad thing, you know? I mean, I feel like you want to finish stuff up just because it gives you that, like, feeling of achievement and, like, hey, I've been using this stuff. I'm not just, like, blowing a bunch of money on stuff I never use up. But it does last, and that's another reason why I'm on that no-buy, which, again, I'll link that below. Um, but it's why I'm on that no-buy because it's, like, I've had these things, I've been, I've hit pan on them a while ago, but it does take so, so long to use up, so it's like, even though you want to, and I get that because I really want to too, you want to have like every single eyeshadow palette, but it's not realistic because you're never going to use that up. Plus, I'm a college kid, I don't have a ton of money to be spending on stuff like that. If I did, if I had the money, I would own like everything in Sephora, like let's be honest. But anyway, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. This is a huge cult classic. Um, and I've hit pan. Again, this one's not going. I thought that once I like hit pan right here, that it would just be going and going. But it's really not. But I also, I try not to concentrate my brush right there. Um, I kind of try to give it an even distribution. Just because then I feel like when you have like the really thick product all around the edges, you can't really get to it. So then you're wasting more product. So that's that. Now let's get into the products I actually have used up. I do have a pretty full bag this month. I feel like every single month I start off the month and it's like the 10th and it's like pretty empty. And I'm like, oh no, what? My empty video is going to be super short. And then all of a sudden it just like fills itself up. So let's get into it. I do have a couple of random things. 
this is my um, Bath and Body Works Ice Gingerbread uh, Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I love, love, love this scent. This is from last um, Christmas. This isn't the only thing I've used since last Christmas, trust me. But I live by myself, so soap does go by pretty slowly. Um, and I try to, you know, I'm not like here all the time, obviously. But I did get every single last drop out of this, and it smells like a gingerbread man. And I hope they have this out this Christmas. Um, but it's just, it's wonderful. I love the way it smells. It's a very sweet scent, though. So obviously, if you're not into that, you might not like it. The next thing I, I used up was actually really surprising. It is the Degree Expert Protection 24-Hour Motion Sense uh, Deodorant in the shade Fresh Energy. This did have, like, a little bit sweet, but mainly a really powdery scent. But this is probably my favorite deodorant I've ever tried. I just randomly grabbed it, like, on a whim, not really thinking anything of it. And it is awesome. It keeps you dry. It makes you not smell. Like, it can be the end of the day, and you're still going to smell like this. Obviously, if you don't like a powdery scent, you might want to try a different one. I've never tried anything else but this scent. But I really, really like this, and I think I would definitely repurchase that. And then, um, this is a nail thing. And I, I kind of hate that I'm doing this, but I have to. Um, this is the China Glaze uh, Polish in Shocking Pink. It is a true, true, super neon -y pink color. I have had this forever. I really love it. You can't tell because it's been laying on its side, but it's probably to like here. But it dried out. Somehow it spilled and it dried out. Um, and so I put a little bit of nail polish remover in and then it worked well. And then I used it again and it was just streaky and terrible to apply. And I don't think you're going to be able to pick it. Oh, you can. See these little white specks? It's like polished, like it's lost its color or something. I'm not really sure how all that works. Um, but when I used it, the white specks showed up on my nails and it just, it was gross. It was a mess. I really like this shade, but it was time to go. But if you're looking for a neon pink, this is great. And I probably will at some point repurchase this just because I don't have any other neon pinks. Alright, now let's get into, oh, I have another random, sorry. Um... This is my Pocket Pals Instant Spray Hand Sanitizer. I have a lot of the Victoria's Secret, or not Victoria's Secret, excuse me, um, Bath and Body Works ones, but I keep those on bags and stuff because they have the little holders. So I like to use my weird shape ones. I put them in my pocket at the vet school because I'm really like anal about washing my hands because of cross contamination and stuff. And I work in Zoomed. So like a couple of weeks ago, we had a lion headed tamarind, which like can get you really sick and stuff. And you know, I just try to be safe about it. Um, so this is just a hand sanitizer. You it up. All right, now I think we're on to hair stuff. This I used up. It's this. Obviously, I used up everything. Um, it's a Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is great. It. This is like one of the only dry shampoos I've ever tried, and it is amazing. I know you can get this at Target. I don't know where else you can get it. It was like it was under ten dollars. I know, but it wasn't super cheap. I think it was like eight dollars. It sprays totally clear. I did not get any white powdery things. And obviously, as y'all can see, I do have pretty dark hair. I didn't get any white powdery residue or anything. It didn't make my hair feel dirty. Or like, it gave me good volume. But you know how sometimes your, your hair just feels dirty after you use your dry shampoo, which is kind of counterproductive. It's not oily, but it's just like gritty. It does not feel like that. It didn't make my head itchy or anything. All in all, this is great. And I really highly recommend it if you use dry shampoo. I used up this conditioner. It is the Herbal Essence Body Envy Con Volumizing Conditioner. I do not like this stuff. If you've been watching me for a really long time, I've already used up one of these, but I have the shampoo still. I got like a set. My mom got it for me for Christmas. I went through the conditioner and then I just had like about half of this shampoo and I was trying to mix it with something else, but it just smelled really weird. So I had to buy another of the conditioner I did not like and now there's still like this much shampoo left. It's like the never ending shampoo bottle and I don't like it. It's really drying on my hair. It has a citrusy smell. Yeah, like an orange citrusy smell and I just, I don't recommend this. I love another Herbal Essence hair product, but that I do not like. This is the Totally Twisted um, Resilient Conditioner. This is my Holy Grail hair product. I love Totally Twisted. It's super moisturizing. It just gives you a little more oomph and it does like enhance my curls and I just really love it and I highly recommend this and it's from the drugstore so it's not very expensive. It's under $5 I know. Alright. 
And the last hair product is by Big Sexy Hair. It is the Root Pump Volumizing Spray Mousse. The exact opposite of this one, this does leave that really gross grit in your hair. It feels dirty, it's itchy, it's a little bit crunchy. It is a lot more expensive and I do not like it near as much. This is obviously just a travel size, but I really did not like this. Um, oh, one thing about this though, whoopsies, um, is that it does kind of smell a little bit like hairspray, like a, like almost acidic. This does not, um, but I, I don't like it and I would not purchase it and it's a lot more expensive. And the last hair thing is um, a little sample of the Agave Oil Treatment. I really, really liked this treatment. I know it's really expensive, but it was super nourishing. It made my split ends, or not split ends, but like the bottom of my hair is really dry because it's been permed so many times. It made it feel so soft and silky and detangled. And I would really consider buying this. And it's really expensive, so I probably, I mean, I won't be dying it anytime soon because I have a lot of hair oils that... I feel like I just accumulate things and that's not necessarily a very good thing. Well, it's not a good thing because then you're not going to really use it. Um, but this I really, really like and I would recommend it. And I would purchase that at some point. And I believe this is now actually the last hair thing. It's another sample I got from Sephora. It is the Diva Curl One Condition Ultra Creamy Daily Conditioner. This had a weird smell, I think. Let me see if I can smell it. Yeah, it's like sweet, but also like citrusy and like sour. It's weird. I didn't like the scent. It was a nice hydrating conditioner. It's pretty thick, um, but it is really expensive. It didn't do anything amazing, and I didn't like the smell, so I would not repurchase that. Okay, skincare now. I only have two items. This actually isn't near as big as my usual is, but you know, that happens. Um, this is the Simple Revitalizing Eye Roll-On. So it's a gel, like a clear gel. It comes out of this little thing. There's not in there. Um, it just felt wet. The The metal ball um, does give you like a cooling effect like all metal does. But it just felt wet and it didn't feel like it was really doing anything. And you know when sometimes you put like too much hydration you get those teeny tiny little bumps right here. So you, your makeup doesn't go over well. That's what this did and I didn't like it and I would not repurchase it. And I bought it a while ago, so I don't remember the exact price, but I want to say it was like close to $20. So don't... I've tried a lot of the Simple Skin Care. I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys. I haven't really been impressed with any of it. That's just me, though. This is something else I used up. This is the second time bottle of it, and I do need to go repurchase this or something else. Just because I want to try something else, I'm not sure. Um, it is the Neutrogena Alcohol-Free Toner. This is so nice. I really have missed my toner. Whoops, so I need to repurchase another one. And after I get out of the shower, because I take a shower at night and during the day, or once I've cleaned my face, I put that on and it's just so nice and it kind of like hydrates you, but not like oily at all. It just like hydrates you and just kind of like relaxes your skin. And I really like it and I definitely can tell a difference when I use this. Um, excuse me. And then I have three makeup products, but they all are samples. Okay, so let's just get these out. Um, all of these came, no, this came, never mind, I'm sorry, I can't even speak. Um, this is the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm. I ordered um, something from Too Faced, that was what my whole giveaway was about. The giveaway is over now, so um, sorry if you did not win. But it is the Too Faced Beauty Balm. And it, this shade, as you can see, was way too dark for me, but I wanted to try it. It was okay. The coverage wasn't great. It didn't cling to my dry patches, but it just, it was just okay. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the whole BB cream thing. Um, these are all, here are the shades. They all seem very warm toned to me. And all in all, it just, I thought it was okay. I wouldn't spend the money on it. This I really liked. This is a sample I got from Sephora. It is the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. But, as most people have said, in my personal opinion, it is super, super, super similar to... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, hold on. Sorry about that, something popped up. Um, super, super, super similar to the L'Oreal Magic Nude Foundation. 
It feels the same. It gives very similar effect. This does have a little bit better coverage though, and I really, really loved it. And that, um, I did mention that foundation in my favorites, which I'll also link down below. Um, but I just, I really love that foundation. I love the effect. Even though I do have dry skin, I think it's great. And this is just as good. This was in the shade B30 Almond, which was too dark for me though. And the last empty that I have for this month, sorry, I just spilled something on my boot, is the Laneige BB Cushion. I got this in my Target Beauty box. I did a whole unboxing video, which I'll link down below for you guys. Um, and it came with four little things. I threw them away because um, you couldn't cover them back up, so it was pretty much a one-time use. And this came with the little sponge, and then it had like light, medium, and dark. I've done a whole blog post, or I mentioned that in my blog post. My blog is always linked down below. But then you can take swatches of it. It did not work well for me. It really clung to my dry patches. But unfortunately, I didn't use the correct sponge that you're supposed to use. So I think that definitely had something to do with it. So I'd really like to try it again before I can really make a definite decision on it. But like I said, these were only one-time uses, which kind of stunk. And the medium and dark were way too dark for me. So um, maybe I hopefully we'll get another sample. But as of right now, I would not purchase it um, from what I've tried. So thank you so, so much for watching. That's the end of this video. Any videos that I have made or blog posts that I think are relevant to this video will be linked down below as long as everything that is on my face in case you are curious. Thank you so, so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me and I will see y'all real soon. Bye.